Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 7th of April. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 10. A rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool. So a, a, a rebuke penetrates the, the heart of a wise person. And Jesus is going to treat us like little children, babies even, when he's going to talk about uh, the dependence that we have on him. If you have a baby and if you decide to leave your baby at home and go to on holiday to the south, uh, to Spain, to Portugal, whatever, to Brazil, when you go back to your house, you are going to find your baby dead because your baby cannot look after himself on his own. He is very dependent. The same way we are dependent on God. There are two aspects of being a child. You can be a child as, you know, a child that is want, uh, wanting this and that and blah, blah, blah. Or, or you'll be a baby, the way Jesus is going to say, when the mother um, of these two disciples came to see him and said, I would like my, my two sons to be one sitting at uh, your right hand and the other one on your left hand in your kingdom. But they were 12, and so the other 10 were not very happy because they wanted that place of honor as well. And Jesus is going to say, in order to enter my kingdom, you have to become like little children. Not little children that are fighting to have a cake for themselves, but, but a baby who is dependent on his parents. You are dependent on God. Without Jesus, you cannot live. You cannot have eternal life without him. Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 27, Jesus says, At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to, my, to me by my Father. No one knows the, the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. So what do you do when God comes to you to rebuke you, to correct you? As Jesus says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 19, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline to be un, 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 earnest. Uh, so be earnest and repent. Repent. To repent is to turn around. It's to change the direction you're going. I live here in the Basque country in the south of France, 25 minutes away from, from Spain. And there is a motorway that goes from Bordeaux to Spain called the A63. If you take the A63 wanting to go to Paris, but you take it on the way to Portugal, on the way to Spain, to Morocco, you can also go to Morocco going on this motorway, all the way to the south of Spain. And then if you, you are wanting to go to Paris, but you take the motorway on the direction of Spain, you have to turn around if you are a wise person. Because if you keep on going the wrong way, you're never going to arrive in Paris. That's why Jesus is disciplining us, because we were going the wrong way. But now God has shown us the way to go. So we have to repent. We have to turn around and walk with Jesus. There is no other way, as he's saying here. He is the one who, the only one who can reveal as the Father. So if we are not walking with Jesus, if we are going the wrong way, we are never going to get there. We are going to get somewhere, but it's not going to be in the kingdom of heaven. So repent, turn around.